Hi everybody, welcome uh, to our video spotlight. Today we have a Pinot Noir from a very uh, eclectic place. I mean, Patagonia in the southern part of uh, Argentina. Certainly, I don't can't think of any other wines that are really made there, but this no. is um, called Alto La May, and this is the 2012 Pinot Noir. Yeah, Patagonia kind of a, you know, it's very, we've talked about in other videos, Pinot Noir doesn't grow it well in many places in the world, and Patagonia is kind of the up and coming area for Pinot Noir. So in the, the real, isolated southern part of Argentina, arid plains, plateaus, and apparently the, the wind is a big factor. There's no humidity, and um, it's just very, very windy. So the grapes are you know, never never wet, there's no um, mildew chance of, of mildew, mold, yeah. anything like that. Climate is perfect, just real variation. Very hot days, very, very cold nights, so it keeps that acid, keeps that freshness. And yeah, really, you're, you're seeing some of, the, some of the better new Pinot Noir come out of the southern part of Argentina, which is kind of, Incredible because they only started planting grapes here in like 2000, basically. Okay. Yeah. Um, the government subsidized, gave some tax breaks, some people started moving down there, and some big wineries. Uh, this wine is made by a winery called Family Schroeder, but imported by Paul Hobbs. Um, Paul Hobbs, the great California winemaker who's had a few, few projects in Argentina now, and yeah. he's been consulting there for years. He's probably an enologist. Uh consulting on this I would imagine mm. um, I poured this uh, a few weeks ago on a Thursday tasting and people loved it I mean it's it's sixteen ninety nine, but I think the price is really fair it's it's a lighter style but it's got a lot of flavor to yeah. it yeah I think as we've also talked about you, you know Pinot Noir is one of the wines you don't get we don't get a very good Pinot Noir for what you can get a good Malbec or a good you know True. you know value uh, Cabernet Sauvignon or something like that Good solid Pinot Noir with character, sense of place, probably starts at like fifteen bucks, mm -hmm. you know, maybe twelve if you get very lucky. So sixteen ninety nine, yeah, we get we're pushing twenty bucks, but it's very good Pinot Noir from you know a very very great up and coming region. Yeah, and uh, the one thing I remember about this, everybody sort of commented on this beautiful strawberry and cherry flavor that came off of uh, off of it. Um, it's it's so, it, I think it would go so well with food. I think it's just built for food. Um, sometimes when you see them light like this, you, know, you think there's not going to be a lot of flavor, but this is just terrific. Mm. Um, it's pure Pinot Noir. I mean, um, you know, Burgundy, the greatest Pinot Noir in the world, is, is often light in color, well, almost always light in color. And sometimes it's, a little austere, yeah. too, in its youth. But yeah, no, this is definitely softer, uh, definitely modern, great acidity, bright, you know, str strawberry, cherry fruit, as yeah. you said. Just a really, like, clean, focused, Example of Pinot Noir, uh, obviously really well made. It's not cheap. It's not an afterthought. Yeah, I think yeah. it's really really solid Pinot Noir for under twenty bucks, and you get to explore a uh, pretty pretty obscure new mm -hmm. region. Yeah, and I mean foods with this. I mean we've done a lot of Pinot Noir, so classic things like roasted chicken, roasted turkey uh, goes great with salmon or tuna steaks. Mm -hmm. You name it. Um, pretty pretty versatile wine. So for sixteen ninety nine, the um, Alta La May is is definitely one to try. I think. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks.